Next up, I have Ramon Dre Stevenson. Uh, he's Ramon currently Dre. Ramon Dre. He's currently going in the middle of the ninth. Um, I think that you guys, I think everybody can do a lot worse than Ramon Dre uh, in the late single digit rounds. I think he's probably going to see his ADP climb. Um, if you got the sack of sheet, you know that he averaged four, more than four and a half yards per carry as a rookie on 133 carries last season. Um, and that New England ran the ball more than 28 times per game last year, which was the ninth most in the league. A lot of that was due to having a rookie quarterback, no doubt about it. Second year, it's not going to be a whole lot different. But yes, um, the Pats also had the seventh highest percentage of run plays called on offense last year among all teams at almost 46%. All this is just to say that it's a very run-happy offense. They love to run the ball. Uh, They use Stevenson basically interchangeably with Harris at times. Um, Harris did outshine Stevenson in short yardage situations. Obviously, that touchdown number. Sure did. Um, But Stevenson did show his big playability. Um, You know, we had James White retire, uh, which is, you know, new news. I think it helps shed a light on why the Pats also drafted Pierre Strong and Kevin Harris in the draft this last season or in the offseason. They did add Cole Strange to bolster the offensive line as well in the first round, mind you. Um, But then sort of the last bit of sleeper news, if you don't use sleeper, I highly recommend their fantasy football alerts. Um, The Patriots are rumored to be actively shopping and open to trading Damian Harris. And if that were to happen, I mean, Ramondre would vault in ADP uh, as the obvious workhorse running back in that offense. I think that he gives you an extra dimension to Damian Stonehands Harris. Um, That's That's a really good point. He doesn't have any receiving chops. Whenever Harris is in the game, you almost know they're running the ball. They're either running it or they're faking like they're running it. They're certainly not passing it to him or running a screen. I mean, he does not catch the ball at all. So Ramon Dre, to me, is the obvious guy for them uh, as the answer at running back long term, just because of that extra dimension that he adds. Again, the Pats are open to trading or actively shopping Damian Harris right now. Um Maybe if there's a preseason injury, I mean, you hate to see it, but maybe that would push a team to try and pull the trigger on a trade. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, please take Sony Michelle 2.0. Exactly. The Sony, exactly the Sony Michelle trade last season. Um, yep. So I, I would love to see that for Ramondre, even if it doesn't happen. You know, there's always the, um, gosh, what was it? The trade a couple of years ago. That set Nick Chubb free because uh, he was behind somebody on the Browns. I forget. <clears throat> I'll have to go back in the Wayback Machine. I know who you're talking about. Um, the oh, it, it was the it was the Ohio State running back that also kind of had stone hands, and he played. Oh, Trent Richardson? No, it was it was not as late as Trent Richardson. Ohio State running backs. Wasn't Beanie Wells. Um, the So Ramondre is currently going later than, than Damian Harris. Uh, we have Ramondre Stevenson ahead of Damian Harris in our rankings. And also keep in mind, Damian Harris had the second most rushing touchdowns. If you're telling me that those get split or even favor. It was Carlos Hyde. There you go. Thank you. Good, good call on that. Um, former Jacksonville Jaguar, Carlos. Yeah. Hyde. I was like, I thought he went to the Jags, but no, cause that was, that was Leonard Fournette. And oh, well, it was also Carlos Hyde. Yeah. Um, so if, if any of those touchdowns go to Ramondre, he looked like he was going to be the goal line back there for at least a little bit. And then Harris kind of took the roll back. They're clearly high on Ramondre. Yeah. Um, it would be great if they traded him. Um, but yes, we're kind of projecting the younger, uh, younger, more athletic, better receiving uh, running back to have a bigger role in the offense. And there's just a lot of there's a lot of guys there 
right? I mean, yeah. you never, it's really hard to trust the Bill Belichick running back. And for that reason, that's why we have them both ranked down in the 30s. Yeah. Yep. And and I'm not, you know, I'm not obviously going to land all five of my running back dudes that I'm out here preaching to go get. All I'm saying is these are lottery ticket dudes that I think are high, high, high upside and high probability because that's really what it is, right? All of these guys have kind of, you know, sort of the same range of outcomes, but some guys I think are more likely than others to finish uh, closer to their ceiling than their floors. And I think Ramondre is one of them. And if he does, and, you know, if something were to happen with Damian Harris, then obviously he's going to well exceed his middle of the ninth ADP.